Have we actually been awake for half an hour and we just set the camera up and then pretended to go back to sleep and wake up no. for the video? Um, yeah, absolutely not. We totally didn't do that. <laughs> on a Tuesday <laughs> um, and I am getting ready to go to the gym because it is my goal this year to get even hotter than I was last year which shouldn't be that difficult it wasn't a great year last year I have my coffee I have my water so I'm hydrating, but I'm also getting very, very caffeinated at the same time. And we are going to start getting ready right now. This is how I look when I have just gone out of bed. Um, yeah, it's not great. <laughs> mm. I'm just going to be tying my hair out of my face. Like so. Look at my cute little headband. It's so cute. I love it so much. Starting off, I'm going to be washing my face with this, which is pretty good for acne, I would say. Although I still have acne, so clearly not, not that good. <laughs> Next, I am using this, which I got as a gift. Real Barrier Extreme Essence Toner. And my sister got this for me. I told her, she was like, what do you want for Christmas? And I said, anything for really dry skin. Because <laughs> I have the driest skin in the world. It's maybe not in the world, but <laughs> I have very, very dry skin. And I need all the help that I can get to keep it nice and moisturized. It also makes treating my acne really, really hard because all the stuff that treats acne is like really drying, you know, because it's trying to dry out the acne or whatever, but I can't use that. Otherwise my skin starts to like peel off basically. So, um, yeah. I see all these girls, they're like, oh, just use tretinoin or whatever. And I'm like, I tried it, I tried it, and now I have eczema on my face. So, no. <laughs> Next, I have another gift from my sister, which is the Dr. Jart. I think that's how you pronounce it. Ceram Ceramidin, Ceramidin. Skin Barrier Moisturizing Cream, which is this. And it's like this really thick cream. Um, unfortunately, the bottle is not that big, which is kind of annoying, because um, I really like this. As you can see, it kind of comes out as like almost close to my skin tone, but it blends in, it becomes sheer. So I feel like anybody with any skin tone could use this if they wanted to. Ta-da, now we're all moisturized. 
And the last part of my skincare routine, which is arguably the most important part, is SPF. This is, again, I don't know how to pronounce any of these. These are all Korean brands, by the way, so I don't know how to pronounce them. Da Alba UV Essence Waterfall SPF 50, which is pretty, pretty high SPF. So I've gotten super serious about my SPF recently. Um, and it's because I have, I have fine lines on my forehead and I'm not even 23 yet, which is really, really bad. Um, and I know it's my fault. You know how I know? Because I grew up in South Florida and during the summer, I would go out in the middle of the day and bake in the sun for hours without any sunscreen on my face or on my body. And now I'm like, ugh, why do I have fine lines? That's why I have fine lines, it's so bad. I was so insecure about my skin tone, about being pale, that I thought that this is what I needed to do. I thought that I needed to burn in order to tan, which makes me wanna scream at myself now. I'm like, oh my God, you're such an idiot. Like, this is, this is entirely my fault. <laughs> like, I, I really made my bed, honestly, with this one. Um, and I think the best part about this story is that I, I still wasn't even tan. Like, I would go and lie out there for hours, and I still wasn't tan compared to my classmates. So it was all for nothing, and now, now I'm gonna age really fast. So I've gotten very serious about it recently. Um, in the past few years or so, because I don't want to age any, any more than I already have. So we're just gonna put it like that, and then a little on my... Like, it's not even, it's not even sunny today at all. Like, it's completely overcast. In fact, it's snowing. <laughs> but you won't catch me slipping ever again. And I'm gonna put it on my neck, because, oh my god, have you guys seen, like, the lady that puts sunscreen on her her face but not her neck for like years and years and years and then like you see the difference between how her face skin looks and how her neck looks and it's so bad and it's so scary so now I'm, I make sure to put it on my neck I don't put it on my body but also my body really isn't exposed to anything right now because it's freezing but yeah that's the last step of my skincare routine I don't put on any makeup to go to the gym um, because I, I don't want any sweat or bacteria to get like caught beneath the makeup or like on the makeup, you know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't want it to get gross. Like I feel like I, if I sit in my makeup too long and if I sweat in my makeup for too long, then I end up getting more acne, which is the opposite of what I want. <laughs> I do, however, wear perfume and today I'm wearing this is L'Occitane and it's a perfume. It's really light, so it's not gonna like, if I walk past somebody at the gym, they're not gonna be like, oh my God, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I also don't wanna like smell really gross if I have to like go somewhere afterwards. So I put this on and it lasts for like mm, a few hours. I put it on my hair usually. It's like a very floral scent. So I smell like flowers, which is always nice. Okay, now I'm going to be changing into my gym clothes, which I picked out. We have a sports bra that I was a hand-me-down from my sister that she wore in the eighth grade that I still wear as a very high-impact sports bra because it's so tight that nothing's going anywhere. So, <laughs> um, so yes, this is the staple first. And then some leggings from my mom that I've literally never worn in my entire life, but they have pockets and they feel like pretty nice material. So I think I'm gonna try these today. And finally, we have this long sleeve top, crop top from Able, um, which is pretty nice material. Although it's definitely not sweat proof. I've definitely sweat through this quite a few times, but at this point I just don't care anymore. So, so let's try it on. I'm very specific about my workout attire. I've tried to be more experimental about it and like go out and look for different stuff. I'm not a big fan. <laughs> um, 
I don't like the leggings or the shorts that like go up your ass crack basically. Um, and that's no hate. Like that, that really is no hate. Like I think they look good on other girls and I'm like, I love, I love that. You know, I love that for you. But I, for me, it's like, I feel so uncomfortable. I have like one pair of shorts that are like very, they're like dark blue. So it's not even like you can see it a lot, but I still feel, feel insecure about it. So I'm, I'm just not the biggest fan of those. Um, but again, no hate to people who want to wear them. Um, but yeah, this is, this is the fit. Last but not least, we're gonna do hair. I do quite a few things with my hair. Sometimes I do braids, sometimes I do a ponytail, sometimes I do a bun. Today I am going to be doing a little claw clip because I don't think my head is gonna be like leaning against anything. I've made the mistake of using a claw clip and then doing uh, shoulders and triceps. And the first thing I had to do was shoulder press, seated shoulder press. And can't do that when you have a claw clip in your hair, so. And I bring out the front strands. Usually what happens is I just end up um, tucking them into my headphones. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I'm doing in terms of my appearance. Um, and now I'm gonna be showing you what I bring in my gym bag because mm, I've changed up a few things recently and I think it's, I think it's a good call. <laughs> Before I brought like nothing in my gym bag um, <laughs> except for like a belt. I've recently switched that up a little bit. Um, I bring Vaseline lip therapy because it's winter and it's freezing and I need this. Honestly, I'm just gonna put this on now. And then I've been using this for mm, about like a week now, I think consistently. And this has made a big difference in my acne. So obviously when you go to the gym, you're like sweating. And then sometimes you get food afterwards and you're just sitting in your sweat for like hours and hours and hours. It's really not a good thing. So what I've been doing is bringing these like face towels, like these like wipe thingies. If I know I'm not going right home to shower, or even if I do and I just like might want to eat first or something like that. Um, like I, I just use these and honestly I've seen such a big difference with my acne. Um, I think that like a big problem with my acne was just like sitting in my sweat for too long. Um, or like if I sit in my makeup for too long, I'll get acne, it's not good. <laughs> um, so yeah, these have been an absolute lifesaver. Um, so if you're struggling with acne and you think it might be connected to your workouts, um, I would recommend wiping your face down or washing your face at the gym or something. Also, make sure your hands are clean before you wash your face. Otherwise, you're just transferring the bacteria from the gym equipment onto your face. So I'm just gonna say goodbye here. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Um, I hope it was somewhat entertaining. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye.